Hi guys, how you doing? I'm Matthew Jordan Smith, and today we're doing a, a high school portrait. So we have a situation, we have a bright sunny day, and we have our subject under shade. I want to make a beautiful picture, but if I take a picture like this, she's going to be very dark. Let me just show you what this looks like. If I'm shooting now this way, let me turn my camera on and make sure I'm in the right mode. If I shoot like this, my camera's going to read all the bright light around her. And it's going to make her absolutely dark. She's under shade. It looks great to our eye in nature, naturally, but she's going to be dark in the picture. To correct for this, I'm going to bring a light in and light her and match her to the sunlight. So I've already done my readings. I'm going to put my strobe on now. Which I've set to correct for the sunlight. Go back to our right mode. Just like that. Beautiful. That's nice right there. Perfect. So now I'm using a strobe light. I'm balancing the sun with my strobe light and we have a nice even situation. I love that. All right, guys, so now that you have your great shot, let's talk about some do's and don'ts in this situation. Number one, do look for open shade. It makes it for a beautiful shot. Do use light outside because this also can enhance your shot and make your subject pop out in a situation like this. Once you're using light like this in a beautiful situation on a clear day, you can make her stand out and really glow in the shot. Now make sure you do not have the pose coming out of her head. Even as you're shooting, you're always looking for composition to get a great shot. Frame her under the opening. Make sure you're also having her head down so her head doesn't go too high. I'm under her now, which is a great shot, but I want to bring her head down just a little bit so it's not too high. Just like that. Beautiful. Beautiful, very relaxed. <laughs> now that has some great shots, let's now go into the computer and make it even better with Perfectly Clear. All right, so today we have a school portrait. So before I do the skin and eyes, let's make a few adjustments in Lightroom. Go from my library module to my develop module. So at first I'll do the exposure. I'll take this up just a little bit, not much. Background's blowing out just a little bit. So let's take our highlights and go down a little bit. Take that there. I'm gonna take my whites down a little bit as well. I'm gonna take my contrast up just a tad. Okay, now that we have a decent exposure, now let's now do the skin and eyes. I'll go back to library, go to photo, edit in and go to Perfect Skin. I'll hit Edit. All right, let's now go to the second page of Presets and go to the Female School Portrait. Huh. So off the bat, right away, we see the before, the after. Let's go a little closer on this. The before, the after. I'll go into my adjustments and make some changes here. So not so much the skin smoothing on this one, but we'll work with the blemish removal because, let's face it, with teens, there's more acne problems. We'll take this up a little bit more. So on a hot day, sometimes your skin will read a bit red, a bit warm. I can use my infrared tool to take that down quite a bit. Oh, that's good. So now I've cranked up my infrared. Let's see it before, after, before, after. Let's try the shine removal now. I'm going to take this up a bit.
That's good. Before, after. Before, after. So you don't need that. Do a little bit of face contouring as well. Just a little bit. The before, the after. That looks nice there. I think that looks good. Perfect. All right, we'll save this. Hit my return key. Okay, so now I have my two images side by side. My TIFF file, which I just made, is selected. I'm going to open the shot up again. Go to Photo, Edit In, Perfect Eyes. This time, I'm going to edit the original, so I work with this same file that I just created. Okay, so with the eyes, Intelligent Auto does a great job already. This is before and after. But let's see the high fashion. It really takes the eyes quite a bit up. I'm mean, going to adjust this more. This is totally up to you. Let's also look at the good night's sleep, which looks really natural now. So let's see the before, after, before, after. Let's go in and make adjustments to the good night's sleep. I can take this eye enhancement and go up just a little bit more. Before, after, that looks really good now. It looks natural, actually. That's beautiful. I can take my dark circles and go up as well a bit more. I like that even more. Okay, before. After. Her eyes really pop now, but it's subtle and it looks natural. Before, after. A good night's sleep is really great. So now I'll save this. Hit my return key. And now I have my before and my after. Before, after. I like the after because what's, what's happened here is we've taken the shine away. In our before shot, you have that big shine coming down her cheek. Her eyes are now softer. They're more enhanced. She looks slimmer a little bit, just slightly. We've taken away any acne. It's a much better shot now. The before, the after. Before, after. We've also taken away those dark circles under her eyes. 